this is Pause the Catch, and welcome back to another Survival Minecraft episode. So, today I thought I would give you a bit of a little world tour, because it has been a while since I've uploaded this, and I've done some stuff to the world in the meantime, so let's get started with that. Actually, before that, um, obviously I've changed the, the way my world looks in a different sense than adding blocks and deleting blocks. I've actually decided to take off shaders and put on the faithful resource pack that I've adjusted slightly, so keep that in mind. Some things may look different. All right, so why don't we start with my lovely abode, the first building built in this world. For some reason, like a thousand blocks away from the, the center of the world. But this is it. Nothing too impressive. But I, I kind of like the style, so... That's my house. Let's get let's get a good view from the outside, why don't we? There it is. Anyway, moving on, we have the animal pens. Um, I tried to keep the modern style, and I think this is kind of an interesting way to make animal pens. Um, I regret building it vertically because I had to then make the animals go <laughs> upstairs into their pens. So that wasn't great. Um, but moving down to here, this is the pool. I believe I built the pool after I built the house. And then I built the animal pens, but order doesn't really matter. This is the pool. I like it. I never use it <laughs> because it's too deep, so I can't even grab water from it. But oh well. And then this is my garage with my horse that I never use for some reason. Okay, I use it sometimes, but not very often. Not very often. Gosh, my morning voice. Right now, whew, <laughs> you can probably tell it's the morning. Anyway, um, after the animal pens, this is the beacon slash nether portal room, except the beacon is kind of missing because it is in the mountain base, which I will show you later. There's two more things in this area um, right here. Actually, three things. But anyway, this is the wheat farm. It's very nice. Still fitting with the theme. And then this is the donation station, which I don't really use because I don't take donations. Um, I plan to, but I haven't yet. And I used a lot of quartz and this took a very long time to build. So hopefully I'll use it one day. So it's not just a waste of lots of quartz. Down here, there is another basement. Another basement with lots of storage and stuff. and this. This is Harry Potter's closet. He has some cobblestone. Um, and we head down here. And this is... Ouch. Why does that happen? That always happens, like, every every so often. Anyway, this is the rail line that goes to the stronghold. We have arrived at the stronghold. So, I probably should have made that line in the nether. It would have made it eight times less long or something like that. Um, but this is a stronghold. I decided to keep my silverfish farm because eventually I want to do something with redstone to make that cool. Because that's like, they're rare, okay? You don't see silverfish spawners every so often. But this is the end. Um, let's head down here where the interesting stuff is, but this is my main source of XP and ender pearls. This is the ender farm. Very simple design. Um, it 
I, I believe it was built by Doc originally, and some of his buddies or whatever, Doc M77. Um, but this is it, basically. They try to get to an Endermite because apparently they hate them or something, and then they fell down a hole and into there, and then I kill them with one hit. And here is the mass supply of Ender Pearls that I have that I should probably start using. Um, and this is where I enchant everything. And that's basically it for the end, so I'm gonna head back now. Alright, since we were just at the end, I thought, why not the nether? So this is my nether hub. It is very ominous looking, but I was kind of going for that because, you know, it is the nether. And it kind of fits with the theme. And I didn't want something that just, like, popped out and it was all bright and fun colors because that's not the nether. And this, this really speaks nether to me. And I think it looks cool. My original base is in that direction on that line. It's kind of over there. And then in this direction, I forget what's in this direction. I feel like it might be the jungle or something. I don't know. Nothing really important. And then nothing in that direction. And the mountain base and my new swamp base are both in this direction. So why don't we head over there? I have a minecart on me. And we'll, we will check those out. Alright, welcome to the underground area of the mountain base. It's really ugly down here. <laughs> I planned on sprucing this place up, but that never happened because I kind of got bored with the whole project. Um, but this is my minecart elevator that goes up to like the main area. And here we are. So, this was probably my favorite project in the world. Basically what I did is I cut out this whole layer of the mountain. It's a big mountain, by the way. Um, I did use a haste beacon for the majority of it but not all of it and the little parts that I did not use the haste beacon were kind of boring <laughs> but yeah this is it it's basically a natural theme here where I keep all of my animals or the majority of them as well as the two beacons that one of which were missing <laughs> from my home base um oh, 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 oh wait this guy I need to name him still but oh no oh no keep going he will just do that all day they never despawn either which kind of shocked me but yeah he, he will just yep he will just keep going on and on he is the farmer he is the farmer um over here is a village that i never put villagers in still have yet to do that um whoops <laughs> so yeah i i they're so hard to transport, I just, I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, over here is my cabin. It's not finished. I was working on this a little while ago, and then I forgot to finish it. Um, if you're wondering about the glass, by the way, I'm using Code Crafted along with Faithful, so a few of the textures are a little bit different than they normally would be, but yeah. I'm not actually a fan of this glass. I might change it. Um, yeah. I wish it was connected at least. But anyway, that's about it for the mountain base. Not too much to see here for the amount of work that went into it, but let's move on. Actually, before we move on to the swamp base, I was a little bit of a dingbat and forgot to show you where this central portal thing leads to. So this is actually, since it's kind of like the middle of the nether hub and I wanted something important to go here, good lord, good lord, oh my goodness, there's so many pigmen. Anyway, since, like, the nether hub's important, I thought it should lead to kind of the, uh, memorial sort of area thing in Meduhiki. <laughs> so this is where I put, like, all the important stuff. So here is the dragon egg right here. And I kind of made the end, sort of, in miniature. But over here is the, what are these things called? Water temple? It's the, the water or sea temple sponge thing. I have yet to kill all the guardians and get the gold blocks, but I'll do that eventually. Um, over here is a beacon signifying the death of a wither. Um, this is one of three beacons in my world. Uh, I think I actually have another three skulls. I'll have to kill another wither eventually. But anyway, ooh, the glass looks kind of weird on here. And then through here is just kind of a hangout area where I keep some of, my, some of my stuff, including a sponge. I should take that home. While I'm heading over to the swamp base, I thought I might mention that 
oh yeah, by the way, I'm in 1.9 now. That's also another reason why I decided to leave the shaders behind for a little while until something gets developed for like 1.9 because I'm afraid something's going to glitch out and it's not going to be good. Um, so yeah, 1.9 is pretty cool. There really aren't a lot of different things and I prefer not to use the dual wheel thing because, I don't know, it's just kind of weird and awkward to use to, for me. I'm sure I could get used to it, but I'm just going to leave it for now. Here we are in the swamp. I personally kind of like swamps. They're just a lot more interesting than some of the other biomes. Um, but let's head over to the, the great tree. Uh, this was completely built off camera and good grief, the, the vines are kind of, they're kind of overwhelming the tree. So I'm, I'm gonna have to trim them a little bit. Um, but anyway, this is the swamp base. This is intended to be a redstone base and I haven't gotten very far on it because this has been kind of a recent project. Um, but here's the first level of it. This is kind of just the entrance level. We have a dock over here, and these are stairs that will be leading down to the ender pearl elevator that I've designed using water to make it kind of blend with the swamp theme. Um, so that's just gonna go down, and we'll have more floors here, and we will do redstone-y stuff eventually in storage. And that's about it for the swamp base so far. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the only redstone that I've done so far on it. But I think it's a good start. You know, it's cool looking. Spiral door. Not bad. Um, but that's it for the swamp base. And I believe that actually concludes the tour. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. But I think that's it for all the stuff that I've built in this world. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to see more videos like this one, do subscribe and I will upload more. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.